In other words, tonight, this night is that night that tomorrow is the day of Arafah. This is the night preceding it. And in the plain of Arafat, those people who will go and stay there, wukuf, and be present in Arafat tomorrow, then he will be a haji. He will be termed a haji. This is such an ibadah that Allah Ta'ala has made fard compulsory on every ummah. He just like, in salah is fard and zakah is fard. So for this, Allah Ta'ala has selected a, a place, a plain, and imagine the barakat that are present there in Arafat. If we see, you know, there's nothing there, just dust and a small sort of hill. But, so these obviously are external eyes and vision. But if Allah gives you the eyesight of the batin, spiritually, internally, then on the physical earth, then it's such a beautiful plain that Allah Ta'ala has bestowed to us. There's a whole history with regards to the plain of Arafat. So that portion of earth, that place, Allah Ta'ala likes it so much, so much. That Allah Ta'ala says that any individual, doesn't matter how sinful he is, how many sins he has accumulated, how many sins he has to his name, if he arrives to Arafat and does wuku for a small moment in time, he stays there on that day, then Allah says, I forgive all of his sins. All of his sins. So this, that's such a great piece of news, that is this just for the people who will go to Arafat? Because not everybody physically can go to Arafat. We are sat here in Bolton. We can't arrive there. We can't reach there. So will these rewards be only for those people who go to Arafat? So what a great question. The O Prophet of Allah that this situation and forgiveness is only for those people who go to Arafat on Hajj at this moment in time. So Allah's Nabi Wasallam replied, Subhanallah, that no, it's not just for those. Whether whoever, wherever he is, that if he has a little bit of Iman at that time, Allah will forgive that person. Subhanallah. Wherever he is. So this is, uh, I think, a statement of Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu that the, the moments of the day of Arafah are so great, so great are the moments of the day of Arafah, they're extremely grateful, we should be so much grateful to Allah on this day. That's why I say it's the day of Eid as well, that the next day is the day of happiness. After the day of Arafah, that Allah has given us such a great day for a mu'min, a believer, the greatest day, the greatest success is this day. Then the world we look at success, who's most successful in the world. We look, if you got status in the world and titles. And the status of the dunya, you know better, I can't tell you. You know better than me. That he's got this, oh yar, he's a big shot. Yeah, yar, he's got this and that. To his name, he's got assets, he's got property, he's got, oh, big status, he's a big shot, he's reached, he's reached, he's reached, he's attained, he's got this, that man, he's got this and that we say. So Allah Ta'ala's status is different. His recognition is different. The greatest, the most fortunate, the greatest human being is that person, subhanAllah, that when he leaves this world, he leaves this world forgiven by Allah. Allah says, I've forgiven that person. Yes, he is the greatest person. He is the best person. He is the big shot. That he has earned the luggage of forgiveness. So today, that the best human being, the best mu'min will be that person who on this day of Arafah, he seeks and gains forgiveness from Allah. He gains that forgiveness. So millions of times over teeth about this amal, this action we're about to do. That whichever individual in these days, in these nights of Dhul Hijjah, does my dhikr Allah says, then he is given the good news of Jannah, paradise. Allahu Akbar. And another good piece of news we've attained today then. That in this night of Araf, Allah Ta'ala has given you health and ability that no human being, he's got no sharia restriction, then he should never leave the masjid. Greatest Day. The person who's wasting his time, the person who's wasting his time most of all in the day is he who does not go to the masjid to pray salah. In the hadith is stated, the person who goes to the masjid to pray salah, Allah Ta'ala allows rahmah to descend onto him. Allah gives him the path to benefit. And in the akhirah, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala will make it easy for him to cross the bridge of Sarat. And on top of that, that regularly, regularly spend your time in the masjid. What does that mean? Regularly? Commonly? The faraid salah, compulsory salah, you must pray them in the masjid. In the masjid. Go to the masjid. Look at the rewards Allah Ta'ala has given just for that. So, sometimes we leave Zohar, sometimes we leave Fajr, sometimes we leave Asr, sometimes we leave Maghrib. We go to the masjid when we feel like it. No. Make your near from the morning all day. Allah give me health, give me ability. Allah don't give me no restriction. That restricts me and prevents me going to the masjid. Every second, doesn't matter what is happening, run to the masjid. So Allah has given us the tawfiq. That he said the house of the mutakis is his home, the masjid. He is seated as here. He's given us the night of Jummah. 
He's given us the night of Arafah, which comes once in the year. And Allah has given us this as well, the night of Arafah, the night of Jum'ah, and especially, especially Allah has given us the action, the amal, in this masjid, on this night, about which Allah has given good news, that whoever does dhikr of Allah in these days of Dhul Hijjah, then for those people, the good news of power.